Frank Hurst, come on now. Pulled out a little 44. We really took two, just like some fire, right through that hard wood door. He was her man, but he was doing the wrong. Then Frank, he walked up to the courthouse. In life, you have to deal with the cards you're dealt. In my case, I wound up behind the wheel of a truck again, labeled by a TV show, and a father who perceives me as a threat. I'm delivering this load to New Jersey, and then I'm gonna go see my mother. It's always interesting when I land in New York. Oh yeah, well, what am I interrupting your meal? I want, you, you got gravy, Ma? You got gravy when I come in? Yeah. Yeah, but I want, I want with the meatballs and with the pork. I don't want it just with the, I don't want, I don't want just the, the bones. I got a little safe, I got a little safe in my closet. Pasta pack. That's good, Ma. Yeah. What's I good? got some funny stories to tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this, man. Minutes. Oh, for, it it's looks not like very big. It looks song. like no, John Gotti. No, but it's good. It looks like John Gotti. Small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny was a midget. After we had macaronis at my mother's, I brought Joey down to Mulberry Street to meet my friend Ronnie. Ronnie's a trusted friend who had my back when I got myself in a couple of jackpots years ago. And it's always a little touchy for everyone on the block when I'm around, because of my father. But I come around anyway. <laughs>